How many type, how many fat tigers? Uh, not too many. <laughs> Enough for me to still maintain my same body weight and work hard on the court. So yeah. How much? How did it, uh, the design of the sandwich go? Did you? Was it all you? Did you work together with them? How did that work? Yeah, I worked together with them. They took some of uh, my ideas of food that I like and uh, kind of combined it into one big sandwich. What's so? What's in it? What's the ingredient is? You gotta go get it to see, but I'll give you, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Uh, there's fries, chicken fingers, and mozzarella sticks on it. So that's three of the seven or eight things that I have. So go get one, go get a fat tiger. <laughs> I know you also have a deal with a, a, a vegan sandwich place, a honeybee burger. How, how is that kind of, you have kind of two opposite ends of the spectrum with fat salads in that place? Yeah, so pretty much with honeybee, their whole thing is they want to make food that, you know, isn't exclusively for vegan people. So they want to make food that caters to people that still like eating regular food and <laughs> just like the taste of vegan food. So me, I like the taste of the food that they have there. Um, they got a really good honeybee burger. You know, they got a good chicken sandwich. Their shakes are good. So I just thought it would be cool to work with them. And yeah, I'm thankful to honeybee burger. Uh, One big aspect of your game from last season to improve on would be outside shooting. What did you do in the off season, and how do you think you're doing right now in practice? Um, I try to just get up extra shots after practice more than I did last year, and then come in on my off days and pretty much just really lock in on my form, my balance, and a couple of things that I wasn't really focused on last year. So for me, it's just repetition, getting as many shots up as I can, and you know, until I feel comfortable with it. So yeah. Do you think you've been here? Does it feel like you've been here a long time, would you say? Here at UCLA? Yeah, here at UCLA. I feel like I've been here for a good amount of time, <laughs> but you know, I love my time here. Uh, it's, I've been had some of the best years of my life here, so yeah. You got two more years of eligibility left. How do you kind of- Including this year. I, I, I have three. Three left? This year, With next COVID. year, and then a COVID year. Oh, wow. So how do you, how are you kind of looking at that uh, as far as how long you're going to stay in college? I'm just worried about today, right now, you know, going into practice, getting better today, listening to coach. Uh, I just like to take it one day at a time. You know, it's there, but you know, I'm not really too worried about it. I'm just worried about what coach wants us to do and how I'm going to lead this team this year. You graduated? Uh, no, sir. Okay. This, I would be going into, I've been at UCLA for three years now, going into my fourth off the court, so yeah, I haven't graduated. Along those same lines of doing what coach wants, uh, I've heard that a, you've come around to almost, like there's a bond, a mental bond between you and Coach Cronin, like in practice, that you guys, that you literally know what he wants from drill to drill. Would you, is that, is that the case and how has that developed? I'd say with coach, there's just a respect level that's there on my side where whatever he needs me to do or whatever he needs me to do for the team is there. So I'd say we're, we're I don't know what the right word for it is. We're we're pretty on the same page a lot of the time. That isn't to say I don't mess up, make mistakes, and catch myself not leading sometimes. But you know, I feel like coach has my back, and he's just making sure that I'm ready for the season in this team. Can I have one more? I was going to ask you about working with Miles offensively, like whether it be pick and roll or just having a bigger guy to throw up, you know the ball towards the rim. Can you just talk about adding him to the team and working with him in the offense? Yeah, Miles is a great player. Um, defensively, he's a monster. Uh, blocks a bunch of stuff around the basket. And offensively, he's working on his game every day, extending his range a little. He's money around the basket. So it's been good playing with a big like that. And I'm just thankful that he's here. All right, thank you.